I wanted to do a quick video about how to use the X32 core to act essentially like a uh, Dante EQ and delay box. I have a project that needs 32 channels of Dante with EQ and delay on it. So there's no real standalone box that does this right now, but you can make the X32, the Behringer X32 series of products do exactly this. So here we are in the X32 edit. Uh, I'm using X32 core, although this should work with any X32 product, the X32 rack, the actual X32 desk, uh, any of that. So this, uh, the X32 core comes with USB, uh, the USB card, but if you get the X Dante card, it slots right in. Uh, so in the uh, routing tab, you want to go to the home and then you want to change your inputs 1 through 8 to card 1 through 8. Inputs 9 through 16, card 9 through 16. Inputs 7 through 24, card 17 through 24. And inputs 25 through 32 for card 25 through 32. So now all of your inputs are coming through Dante. Later you will go over here to your Dante routing uh, and route all your uh, Dante sources from wherever you're getting your sources into the inputs of Dante, so the Dante receivers here. So you route the sources. I don't have any sources plugged in right now, but the Dante, the X32 core, will uh, get all your inputs from your receivers, 1 through 32. So next you want to go to card out. If you scroll down on card out, you can come out 1 through 8 and come out 9 through 16, but then there's no more outs. There's only 16 outputs. These outs correspond with these, uh, the analog outs. Now on the X32 core, there are no analog outputs. So when we route an analog, what would be an analog output to the card output, uh, that's how we actually get those, those internal buses out of the machine. So you may have notice this, you can take an analog output and make it come direct out from a channel and then you can tap it anywhere. You can tap it in, you can tap it at before the EQ, after the EQ, pre-fade or post-fader. And then you can even add a delay to each um, output which is part of the thing I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do an EQ and a delay uh, on the Dante output. So right now we're getting our input coming from a direct channel output and that output goes to the card out. Now what you want to do with these other two, because I need 32 channels, you can use the P16. P16 is Behringer's uh, proprietary uh, kind of monitoring. They have some hardware that can use it. Um, if you plug in the Ultranet plug on the back of the, 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 the Ethernet plug for Ultranet on the back of X32, that's this that's where they go. That's where the P16 comes out of that socket. But you want I want the card to output P16s. And then over here on my P16 outs, I just do the exact same thing. So we're gonna start with 17. So we'll go direct out 17. And then direct out 18. And etc. 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 Just go down the list until you get every output that you need. So now you have outs 1 through 8 are ins 1 through 8, or direct outs 1 through 8. Out 9 through 16 is direct out 9 through 16. P16 1 through 8 is direct outs 17 through 24. P16 9 through 16 is now direct outs 25 through 32. And that's how you fool Behringer into giving you 32 direct outputs from an X32.